Shake body, lose body, forget your trouble, dance for me. Make you look white, jolly, jolly. Waiting God to go be surely, go be. So I worry, uh, baby, no worry. Uh, take a busy, sample, sample. Hey guys, my name is Natasha Beckley, producer of the Miss Independent Sierra Leone USA 2016 pageant, and welcome to our show. Hey everyone, I'm Miss Cambia, and I'm here for the crown, nothing less. So I'm gonna put all my best so that I'll go home with the crown. The money you get a vanity, ah, 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 vanity, hey, 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 vanity. What's that motto? I wish, I wish my daughter Ramada Mansore, Miss Bombali District, the number one pageant. I wish her all the best of luck, and I love her. Uh, you don't kill you, come in slowly. You don't stab her now. Before he face you, smile to her.
Golden State of California, representing Kano District. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Seattle Petlin Tri, and I represent the Moyamba District of Sierra Leone. Beginning of birth, pain, oxycodone, Pakistan has been my worst nightmare. Months upon months, years upon years, hospital beds, hospital has been the worst nightmare. All this small beginning today. What thing they do? They they pan the phone. They just say text, text no more. Ah, me are tired. Back in my day, I be the walker go two miles to go fetch water. I come back, I go dress for school, walk another five miles. And this one, it just then I electronic them. Then I Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Ah. Chap chap in the bando. I don't wanna look like you. My young nigga with the rambo, you be getting put right through. I don't have strands on the block car, you know what a hood might do. Come on, one for these niggas, shot car, we don't wanna look like you. Yeah. Britain had upon thee. 
raising taxes and leaving it to strong men like Bai Bure, defending our sweet salon for better days. We tend to forget about the powerful women that were as powerful as these men that brought many of Sierra Leone's misery days to an end, that kept our country strong using their smart tactics and ambitions to run along. Mari Jello ran for office in 2007, won and is now a role model and a legend. Nubella Tunis, whose role in politics is never ending. Madame Cherry Blair, Prime Minister of Britain's wife. She supports our women. and help each and everybody with sickle cell and try to find a way to fight this deadly disease. Today I'm going to speak about anti-skin bleaching and acknowledgement of self <laughs> Hopefully with time, this can spread throughout Sierra Leone. 
I also plan on starting an after school program in which we can tutor girls who cannot make it to school because of chores they have to do in the morning. This can help girls stay in school and stay educated. My budget I want to start with is $5,000. I plan on earning this through donations, fundraisers, and out of my own income. There's an African proverb that says, if you educate a boy, you educate an individual. If you educate a girl, you educate a community. Our booming economy needs more female engineers, teachers, doctors to sustain growth and prosper. Let's educate our girls and make a better future for our beautiful home, Sierra Leone. Thank you for this opportunity. So my platform this evening is going to be about saving lives in Sierra Leone because just growing up and just seeing Sierra Leone being presented on TV as this poor nation with no medical facilities or nothing like that that could save lives. So I wanted to come up with a foundation slash organization as to where we can do fundraisers, we can do little trips, little stuff just to make sure that we raise money from medical facilities to send a lot, a lot of medical facilities back home. This is where I need my nurses, my doctors, and everybody who wants to contribute and make Sierra Leone, and put Sierra Leone on the map, just to let them know that we are my not what they think we are. platform is to provide better health care for pregnant women and children in Kana District. I will be speaking on the importance of hospital visit for pregnant mothers to check on the health of the unborn child. Now, this is one of many problems affecting new mothers in Kana District, and it is one that I am passionate about. Mothers and children are particularly vulnerable. In Kana District, one of, every, one of every three babies born will not live to see the age of five. I am immensely eager to promote youth leadership development with my platform, To Try is to Achieve. I plan to establish a royal domain of real kings and real queens by empowering the youth to achieve their full potential by trying. I discovered that royalty is not defined by what you do, yet it's defined by what you conquer in the world. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As I stated before, I'm not only here to win this title, I am here to execute a platform that means so dearly to me. Orphans rising in unity. Where would we be without the guidance and protection and advice that our parents constantly provide us with? The annoying things like, clean up your room, marry go ask the them, grab, you get for go school and even passing them the remote when it's only My two inches away. My platform will focus solely on the youth in the United States as well as Sierra Leone, causing awareness in Sierra Leone. Thank you. That's so beautiful. So here's your question. What would you say to people who do not believe that pageants are a good influence on Sierra Leonean women? Thank you very much for that question. Thank you everyone for coming out today and supporting me. What I would say to people that do not believe in a pageant, I want to say that this pageant has actually helped me 
boast my confidence. I am so confident, and it has helped me a lot to humble myself. I am so humble, and I am so grateful for that, for this pageant. What I would tell people is to come into pageantry, come and see what it's all about, because it's a beautiful opportunity, and it can help you build up your platform so you can become what you want to become. And I am actually comfortable in what I'm doing, and I will build that confidence in them too. Thank you very much. Why should you be crowned Miss Independent Sierra Leone USA 2016? Thank you for asking me that question. Thank you people for coming here and, and supporting me today. I should be crowned because I am a hardworking female. I advocate for females and males and young children to be successful and stride for what they want to be in life. I am currently working two jobs and go to school full time. I just achieved my associate's degree because I want to and I want to succeed in life. I want to make my parents proud and I want to be the perfect role model that these kids in Sierra Leone should look up to. Thank you. Do you think that social media has helped or hurt our society? Thank you for that question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. It depends how we use it, but social media can be for you or against you. Social media has promoted developing country to get the chance to develop. It has promoted unknown talent to get the chance to expose their talent. Social media has also been used to destroy people's image as well. But all I can say, it all depends on how you carry yourself. Thank you. How would you balance school, your extracurricular activities, if you were to win Miss Independence Australian USA title? Thank you very much, honorable judges, family and friends, and all those who came to support me. I appreciate you so much. School is priority. Therefore, I will set up a realistic schedule for myself so I do not neglect the duty of your queen. Thank you. Miss Kenema District 2016, what makes you different from all the other contestants here competing for the Miss Independent Sierra Leone USA title? Thank you for asking me that question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honorable judges, family and friends, and the production team of International Ambassadors of Sierra Leone Pageant Agency. Thank you for this opportunity. What makes me different amongst all the other girls in this competition? Because I love my country. I was born here. I've been to Sierra Leone three to four times since I've been in the United States. And every time I have gone, I have tried my best to help the young women and girls of Sierra Leone. I want to see my country grow and prosper and become one of the top West African countries in West Africa. And with me as your Miss Independent Sierra Leone USA, I will try my best to make that a reality for everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. If you could meet one celebrity from Sierra Leone, who would, you, who would it be and why? If I could meet one celebrity from Sierra Leone, it would have to be Emerson because his music is so inspirational and it moves the youth and it just lets us know that who we are and we can lead instead of being followers. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. What is your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment. My greatest accomplishment was when I moved out of my dad's house. <laughs> so, <laughs> I moved out of my dad's house. I was still in college. I was still a teenager. I wasn't smart. I didn't know what to do and that thing. I, start, I continued going to school, keeping a 3.5 GPA in college, and living on my own. No, I had no support from no one besides someone that I truly love. But I supported myself, 
and made it clear to myself that I can do this. Meet anyone from Sierra Leone's history, who would it be and why? Thank you for that question. If I could meet anyone from Sierra Leone, I would meet Shaka Stevens yes. because he's from Moyamba, my district. Thank you for that question. Thank you. If you were George in this pageant tonight, what characteristics would you look for when choosing a winner? Characteristics that I would look for when choosing a winner is someone with a very good reputation, someone with a very charismatic personality, outgoing, charismatic, has very good communication skills, and someone that can uphold the title to represent Sierra Leone all over the nation. Someone also that can make a difference. Me people then, I am here to make a difference. Thank you. If Crown Team Miss Sierra Leone USA 2016, what would you do to make students feel more comfortable and proud to rep Sierra Leone in the scholastic environment? That is an absolutely great question, Miss Natasha Buckley. And number one, I'd love to thank the honorable judges for giving me the pleasure to speak in front of so many beautiful people. Um, I would use such a beautiful platform to enrich not only into the youth, because number one, let me tell you all, I was born and raised in the United States. I was not born in Salon, I have never visited Salon, but Salon de Pami. And I can tell you that, and I can tell you that because the way I was raised in such a huge family, 16 people, we have known to love each other. So what I would try to enrich into the youth is something that I learned into my household, and it's being able to use the dynamic and these beautiful brains that we have that a lot of people don't know of because they think that we're naive or we're these things because we're young, but I want to teach them that you may be young, but you can make a difference. So going there, I would help them with things, having personal conversations with them, enriching them, and maybe encouraging them the way maybe some of them, Mama and Papa, them know they do, but I will do that for them. So thank you. Shake body, lose body, forget your trouble, dance for me, make you look quite jolly jolly. Waiting God say go be surely go be, so why worry? Uh, baby no worry. Uh, take a easy, suffer suffer. Jalissa Carbo, representing the Port Lanka District, is your Team Miss Sierra Leone USA 2016, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you girls, you get that? And I will definitely call on Yalissa to help me crown tonight. Our fourth runner-up, Miss Freetown. Miss Freetown, please step up. Miss Freetown, please step up.
the Cambia district. Miss Cambia, please come out. Sun hops. Sun hops. And in the long 